My name's Jonathan Cheever. I'm on U.S. Snowboarding's Border Cross team. Uh, I'm originally from Saugus, Massachusetts, where I'm sitting right now. Uh, I've been on the U.S. team for six years now, and I've been on the A team once before. Took a break on the B team, which is the unfunded team. Now I'm back on the A team after finishing last season third in the world as, and as national champion. Uh, right now, my sponsors are Bradford White Water Heaters. I'm a plumber by trade, so that's why I get that sponsor. The Level Field Fund, which is um, which Ross Powers is kind of heading up the snowboard program in that. Toka Wax, that's helping me go fast. I have uh, Kessler Snowboards helping me out. Triple uh, Eight Helmets out of New York City, and Drift Innovations is helping me out with some point of view cameras. And I ride at the canyons. <laughs> The cool thing about snowboarding is it's it's not your typical sport. You know, everything is is individual. You get to pick your own run. It's it's a, an artistic expression. But you know, at the same time, um, you know, racing board across it, it it's you know more cutthroat. It's more of a competitive nature where everyone has the same goal, unlike a half pipe run where you have to stick your run. Board across where fighting for the line. You want to be the first one down the course. You know, board, board across kind of seem natural because you have to be aggressive. You have to you have to go fast. You have to want to win. You have to you have to want to beat everybody. You need to work for it. I'm in the gym five days a week, um, and on, on top of that, I'm still trying to make a living, turning wrenches to to pay for this, pay for you know a, a sport that I, I like to call myself a professional at. But in reality, sometimes it's it's a habit. I think one of my biggest fears in life is. Um, Having a real job, sitting down at nine to five. I mean, I'm a, I'm a licensed plumber. I can probably make you know between fifty and a hundred thousand dollars a year installing toilets, or water heaters, or picking up my my dad's business. But I I don't want to do that. You know, it's not the rock star lifestyle by any means. But at the same time, I'm very grateful and very lucky to do what I do.